What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Harry Potter's playing in the background in case you haven't noticed. Today I'm going to show you my recent pickups. Some of it's going to be some of the stuff from my last vlog, some of it's going to be stuff that I got in the mail recently. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. My first pickup, probably the one I'm most excited about right now, is my first Supreme pickup. Just happened to be on my phone scrolling through uh, Instagram and I got the notification that the Supreme online shop opened up and I was like, okay, I'll just click on it. Everything's probably sold out anyways, but I ended up being able to cop this really sweet t-shirt. So when I got the packaging, it came with a Supreme bag, two Supreme stickers, and uh, the shirt is just incredible. It's a nice heathered gray shirt with the red heart on it. The characters that spell out uh, an explicit uh, term. <laughs> There's just a lot of detail with this shirt. I really, really enjoyed the way it looked when it came out of the package and when I put it on. As you can see, I did pair it with a pair of faded black denim from H&M. I like these jeans a lot because they have a lot of stretch to them, nice fabric, and it, the fade really looked good with the gray. Also paired with that are uh, brown Chelsea boots from a company called Thursday Boots, the brown suede and their water treated. Uh, super comfortable, this outfit went together really well. Also put a couple of accessories on here, uh, a black lava bead bracelet and um, a silver chain from Boohoo Man. All right, moving into outfit number two. I stopped at Lululemon in the vlog. I did get a couple of things from there. Uh, the first thing that I got was these gray track shorts. They're super lightweight. They're vented in the back. They're really thin. Uh, nice stretching material. Very comfortable for working out or going on long runs. Next thing I got was this cut off maroon t-shirt. Again, it's really soft material. If you haven't picked up anything from Lululemon before or tried any of their stuff on, you have to go do it. It's incredible. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but you are getting what you pay for without a doubt. I paired these with my uh, workout headphones, which are the Beats by Dre Studio wireless headphones in matte black. These headphones are really great. They give you great audio. Battery life is pretty long. I can usually go about a week without charging them, and the audio is really, really great. The shoes that I'm wearing in this outfit are the Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged in the blue colorway. These are really, really comfortable running shoes, as well as just kind of an everyday athleisure type shoe. Um, and I also picked up these uh, Lululemon boxer briefs. Let's move right on to the next outfit. That's also from Lululemon. I paired that same maroon cutoff t-shirt with a pair of what they called black sweat shorts or black drawstring shorts. These are really, really comfortable. They're vented throughout. Um, as well as they have uh, the same additional venting that the gray shorts had on the back. And they're also fitted, so they don't look like super baggy and super worn out like some of your typical gym shorts do. I also paired this outfit with the Ultra Boost 3.0 LTD in the gray colorway. The nice thing about these Ultra Boost is that they do have the leather cage on them, as well as the rope laces, which are a little bit higher quality than the regular plastic ones or regular laces that come on the normal Ultra Boost. Also on the back tab, there is accents of suede. So this is sort of just kind of taking the Ultra Boost and putting it on another level. I like this outfit for like a really cool athleisure type look, really casual, but really comfortable to go hang out with your friends or go to class in. All right, next up, my pickup was from a company called Minimal. The first thing that I got from them was the M1 Stretch Denim. So this is their highly distressed, knee blown out denim. I already had these denim without the stretch, but I did want to try it with the stretch in them because the ones that I had without were a little bit too tight sometimes until you wore them in a little bit. But the ones with the stretch are absolutely perfect. Um, I would definitely recommend if you get these, go true to size. Again, there is a lot of distressing in this denim. It's very trendy. There's the zippers at the bottoms and it has an extended length so you get those nice stacks. Overall, I really, really love these pair of jeans. I paired that with an oversized gray t-shirt from a company called Simple Supply. It's a surf company based out of California. They make like very minimalistic surfing products and clothing. I also paired that with the Classic Series Rose Gold Watch from Movement. And so it's got the nice rose gold and black face with that black leather band. It just added a really nice aesthetic feel to the outfit, sort of complemented it and took it up to the next level just enough. I'm also wearing the triple white Ultra Boost in this outfit. You can't go wrong with a pair of white sneakers. I just thought this outfit went really, really well together. The gray complements the blue and then those white sneakers pop with that rose gold and black watch. I think it's just a really nice, casual, comfortable outfit for everyday wear. All right, next up, we got a couple of things from H&M, one of my favorite stores ever. You're balling on a budget, that's the place to go. 
First things first, I got this maroon tee from H&M. It's from their log series. Their log series is a little bit higher quality than their normal stuff by Divided or just the H&M brand. That's the trick with getting H&M. You gotta get the higher quality stuff. You're paying a little bit more, but not too much, and you're getting a lot better quality things. It's got a little bit of a nicer fabric and the detail and the stitching across the chest. You can't beat it. I paired this maroon shirt with an American Eagle Extreme Flex shorts in gray. These are really nice shorts. They're comfortable, they're classy, and they can either be dressed up or dressed down depending on the occasion. Again, I paired this outfit with the Triple White Ultra Boost. I also have paired this with some tortoise glasses from Boohoo Man. I just thought this brought the outfit together really well and a, and a bead bracelet that I got from the Top Man. All right, next up, I got two things in this outfit from H&M. First up is the white t-shirt. It's the same t-shirt as the maroon one was before, just in white. I liked it so much that I had to get the same thing in two different colors. And I paired that with uh, these gray chinos. They're really, really comfortable. They're also made by the Log brand from H&M as well. They, they're nice and stretchy throughout. They're super comfortable for everyday work or school or just a nice outfit to go out and dinner in. I paired this outfit with the Common Projects Chelsea boots in the beige colorway. These are suede Chelsea boots with a crepe bottom. The suede on these shoes is just buttery. Like you run your fingers across it and you can just tell that this is high quality stuff. I got these at consignment when I was in Los Angeles this summer. They retail for around 600 bucks and I got them for 200, so I got them for a steal. Leather on the inside, suede on the outside, really, really nice. It popped really well with the, the gray chinos from H&M. I also paired that with, it, with the same bead bracelet from Top Man and that same silver chain from Boohoo Man and the Movement Watch from before. The next pickup we got was another thing from Minimal. It's the M5 Denim. So the M5 Denim is the same thing as the M1 except it doesn't have the distressing as before. It's still got stretchy fabric in it so it's going to be really really comfortable for the winter and for the fall. There's a light distressing going on on the knees as well as zippers on the bottom and it's got that extended length for stacks as well but it's not too overdone. It's a little bit more casual, it's a little bit more everyday than the blowouts that were in the M1 denim. I also paired this with a State of Shaka tank top. This is a really soft, comfortable tank top. Uh, it's by a local brand from Wilmington, North Carolina. They make a lot of surfing clothing, stuff like that. I also paired this outfit with a blue or navy hat from the company Stussy. I just thought it complemented the gray and the blue jeans really, really well. It's got that classic S logo on it, kind of resembles Supreme. That's what I was kind of going for with this outfit, a little bit more loud. A little bit more trendy and then I paired it with the uh, classic Vans in gray. You can't go wrong with a pair of Vans. Alright and the final outfit it was another pickup from Minimal, another pair of jeans. This is the S34 denim. These denim are also stretchy as the ones were before. You know I can't be going with those non-stretchy jeans. Again there's light distressing on the knees here. There is no zipper on these, that's why I picked these up and wanted something without a zipper on the bottom so that I could kind of cuff them at the bottom for maybe a different look if I wasn't quite feeling the stacks. Again, the quality of these jeans, based on the price point, is unreal. I think all of these jeans came in right around 60 bucks. You're paying for something a little bit more, but it's not that bad for the quality that you're getting. I paired this outfit with the black and white striped long line tee from Urban Outfitters. This is a really soft and comfortable t-shirt to wear. One thing to note, if you are gonna get this shirt from Urban Outfitters, definitely make sure that you don't put it in the dryer. You put any shirt from Urban Outfitters in the dryer, it will shrink up and look like crap. So make sure that if you wash it, make sure you stretch it out and let it air dry on like a hanger or on a table or whatever you gotta do. Just make sure you don't put that thing in the dryer because it'll go <laughs> So I also paired this outfit with the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Beluga colorway. I wanted this outfit to be really, really loud, really, really trendy, and really, really fun. So that's why I paired these three items together. Again, this is just a really fun, playful outfit to go to class in or go out with some of your friends. And overall, I just really love this fit. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. You don't know how much it means to me. If you want to support me, head down to the description and hit that subscribe button. You'll know when I post another video if you hit that subscribe button. It'll pop up on your feed. Also, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Shows me that you like what I'm doing. Also, leave a comment down below and tell me what I can do to make these videos better. What you want to see next anything like that just let me know and i will do my best to do it for you guys until next time i'm out of here